Hey, welcome back. So in this one, we are cleaning up the timeline here at the top. We want a universal timeline because when I go to another page, the top part here is different from the other one. Okay, so to do this is very, very simple. So let me go back to profile.php since the profile is the one that contains the version that we want since it has a logout. And also the user has to be able to click on the word my book and go back to the uh, go to the timeline. I think this should take them to the index page. So what I need to do is go to profile.php since we have our header in here. So the blue bar is right here. Okay. So this blue bar is the bar at the top and there's my book somewhere here. Where is it? Okay, there's the logout, there's the image, and then there's my book. So this is the part right here that I need to create a link for. So I will drop this down like so, and then put an A tag like that. So the closing A tag, let me zoom in a bit. The closing A tag will be there. And then this will link to index.php, as simple as that. So if I refresh our page now, there we go. Now the color has changed. So what I will do is add, simply add a style in the A tag itself. I can add it here or I can do it there. It doesn't really matter. So style, I'm going to say color white. I don't know if it was actually white or this was actually the color right here. So I'm going to copy that. No, actually that wasn't the color. I'm not actually sure which color it's using. So let's just use white right there. And let me refresh and there we go. I think white is good enough. So if I click here now, it will take me to the timeline. So from the timeline page, I should be able to go back to my profile by simply clicking on my name right there, okay? So we can do the same method that we did here. Let me go to the timeline, which is the index.php. And since the name is, there we go. This is around uh, line 150, where the name is. So we're going to say uh, A, okay? So that we add this inside the link. And then this one will take me to profile.php, okay? Now the thing is, this name is a static name and we know that we already have the user's data right there from the top, okay? So as long as the person is logged in, we'll have user's data containing their information. So all we need to do is come back here where there's a name and simply add, uh, replace the name with uh, user data. So to do that, I'm going to add PHP and say echo user data, first name. I like that, so that's first name. So let me remove uh, this, I don't need anymore. Dot space, another dot. And then we copy the first name, put it there and call it last name. Okay, so this will ensure that this reflects the name of the logged in user. So if I refresh, I get a syntax error. So like I said, errors are pretty good because they tell you where you've gone wrong. So in the index.php on line 153, there's an expected slash. So let's go to 153 and which is here. So this is unexpected. Now, the reason this is unexpected is because I've opened the PHP tag and didn't actually close it. So let me close that. So if I don't close the tag here, it assumes this is PHP as well. So this should work now. So let me remove the zoom in and there we go. So now we have uh, the user's name there, okay? So, we could have the first name at the top because some people have very long names. So what we'll do is simply add a break tag between here like that. 
something like that. If you don't want the underlining uh, of the text, you can simply add a style inside the A tag and just say style uh, text decoration, set that to none. So you can set this to none on the whole website if you want to, but that's not what I want. So when I click here, I go back to my profile and when I click timeline or here, I go back to index.php. So now in here, we want this, uh, the top bar here to be the same. As you can see, it's not the same. It doesn't have the logout page. If I go back here, you see the logout page. So in order to do that, let's create an extra file in here called header.php. So we'll create it from our text editor and I'm going to save this and call it in here header.php. Now you can organize your files in any way you want, in any folders and so on, as long as you reference the correct uh, paths. So if I go to profile.php, because this is where I have the blue bar right here, that's the part that is at the top here, the top bar. So all I can do is just cut this part, cut this whole section up to the cover area, save, and then if I go back and refresh, you will see that uh, that section has disappeared here, which is what we want. So if I go to header.php, I can paste it in here. So let me go back here. So all we have to do now is include it. So once I've pasted it here, all I have to do here is open some PHP tags and then say include the same way we have included files at the top here. Okay, so include what file? Header.php. And that's it. So if I refresh now, I'll uh, get it back. Now there's an error on line 163. So let's get that error. Where is it? This one. So as usual, I've forgotten to close the tag, a terrible habit. And there we go. So in the same way I have done this here, I can simply copy this part, go to the index.php, right where it says the top bar here. I can delete all this and simply replace it with uh, header.php. So that if I go to the timeline now, I have the same top part in both places. Then I can hit the logout here. Okay, and log in again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. All right, so, so far so good. Uh, let's go in the next video where we take a look at the most exciting part, and that is changing the profile image of our user.